Hi, welcome to this first and very, very speculative look at the Christmas 2023 weather prospects. Now, I'm going to take a look at some of the computer model data and the analogs, but before doing that, I think it's just worth quickly reminding ourselves the definition of a white Christmas. Very simply, it is that a single snowflake has to be observed falling within the 24 hours of December the 25th. No mention there at all about snow having to accumulate. In other words, there could just be one or two flakes mixed into a heavier burst of rain. It would qualify as a technical white Christmas. Conversely, if you wake up to scenes like this on December 25th, and let's face it, I don't think many of us will be, it would not actually be a technical white Christmas. The reason is that the snow had fallen in the days before, bright blue sky there indicating dry conditions. And I know many people do not like this definition, but it is what it is. So onwards, and I'm going to start by taking a look at the analogs, the best five matches with the current year. So what these are is a comparison of the state of the atmosphere during the last 30 days with the same period in each preceding year going back to 1948. So the top five and in position number five, 2022. Last year, if you remember, we had the cold period in the middle part of December, snow in places. Lots of speculation at the time about whether it would last until December 25th. Well, it didn't. But even two or three days before Christmas, there was still uncertainty. There were some indications that this cold air to the northwest here would be extending southwards. And in the end, it didn't, as you can see from this chart. A few locations in Scotland recorded a technical white Christmas. The a vast majority of us didn't. In position number four, 1952, so we're going back much further. A westerly flow, not a particularly mild one, but I think snow there would be really restricted to the hills of the north. Number three, one year earlier, 1951. A little bit cooler this time, if anything. There could have been a few sleet or snow showers down to low levels in parts of the north, not in the south. Once more, though, not a white Christmas for the majority of the population. Position number two, moving forwards in time, and I remember this far back now, 1984-85. I think it was the Christmas when I got my first home computer, so that was quite exciting. And also, it was a distinctly cold winter. Lots of snow around, I think, in January. But Christmas Day itself was green in most of the UK, despite some rather chilly air there pushing across the country. Well, which, uh, which year holds position number one? Let's see. It is 2009. Very interesting. That was the coldest winter in the UK since 1978-79. Quite a lot of snow around even in the south during December. But by Christmas Day itself, the colder conditions were more focused on the north. Temperatures were somewhat higher in the southern and central regions than they had been. Uh, a few days earlier, but there was still a significant amount of snow on the ground, even here in the Chilterns. I, I can distinctly recall that it was melting, but there was still almost solid snow cover on Christmas Day. But not a technical white Christmas in these parts, but certainly further north, I think snow would have fallen in quite a few locations, particularly once more over higher ground. So a mixed bag from the analogues. There's some good and bad there if you're hoping for a white Christmas. What's the model data looking like at this length of uh, this lead time? So it's looking a long way into the future as far as computer models are concerned. But here is the GEFS 35 day, 850 HPA temperature ensemble plot for London. So these are forecast values at about 1500 meters above sea level. And we've got to go right across to the right hand side of this chart to see or just about reach Christmas. And at the moment, there isn't a signal for a major positive or negative anomaly. All looks quite average. Of course, that's not good enough to bring snow, I'm afraid. Two meter temperatures for London really mirror that previous chart, fairly close to average, actually maybe a little bit above, if anything. 
up to Glasgow, uh, back, at the, back to looking at the 850 HPA temperature plots. A similar story, nothing really notable there. Likewise with the two meter temperatures, although here perhaps maybe closer to or a little bit below the average, so there could be some interest there. As we head further north, of course, it is typically colder. These charts would suggest a greater chance of sleet or snow falling in the northern half of the UK. But as I say, it doesn't look particularly cold if this is to be believed. Anomaly chart, so this, is, this one's for the week begin, beginning the 17th of December, so just taking us to Christmas Eve, really, I think. It shows the anomaly at the 850 HPA level again, so 1500 meters above our heads. Blues below average, pinks and reds above a 30 year norm. It's a positive deviation at the moment, only one or two degrees, but more than enough to keep the snow risk at bay. Although it should be remembered that this is averaging out the week as a whole, so there could be some variation, of course, within that period, but it doesn't look as though anything particularly cold is appearing. But this is interesting. The pressure anomaly chart for the same week from the same model, a big positive anomaly there to the northeast of the UK over Scandinavia. And of course, High pressure over Scandinavia often can lead to very cold weather in the UK. So it's not being shown at the moment by this model. Perhaps a lot of the runs have the high pressure a little bit further south, a bit further east, and we've got more of a southerly flow. But with that high pressure building to the east and the north, there is always a chance, there is some interest there. The comparable charts from the European model, so two meter temperature anomalies here for the week beginning the 25th of December. So this one actually goes forwards a little bit further than the GEFS, so we can actually look at Christmas week itself. But I'm afraid to say the pink shade and indicates more of the same. It's a positive anomaly, not a particularly strong one, but temperatures through the week as a whole above the 30 year average. So not good for snow, but finally, the European pressure anomaly chart also has something a little bit similar to the GEFS. The brownie orange shading here to the east, going up to the north into Scandinavia up there, indicates higher than average pressure when taken through the week. So some encouragement there, perhaps with all that high pressure around, it would really depend on the orientation of it. Not favorable maybe at the moment, according to most of these computer model runs, but certainly enough to keep the interest alive at this very, very long range. To summarize where we are at the moment, of course, as I've been saying, it's far too early to make a forecast for one day at this range, but the general picture is that the analogs are mixed for some interest there. 2009 showing up as the best match at the present moment. The computer model data, indicates close to average air temperatures, maybe above. With that said though, there are some indications of higher than average pressure over Scandinavia. And that may lead to colder weather in the UK if it orientated in a favorable way. So what I'm gonna be doing on each of these updates is giving a white Christmas score. It's out of five. Based on the current data and the analogs, I'm giving it two. Could be, Worse could be better. And hopefully in my next update, I'll try and do one of these each week at least, that will be making its way upwards, maybe to three or four if we're lucky. And if we're unlucky, it's gonna be heading back down south. But who knows, it's a long, long way to go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and found it useful. As ever, if you did, please remember to hit the like button below and consider subscribing to this channel if you've not done so already. In that way, you won't miss any of these Christmas updates. Also my 14 day videos, which are produced weekly. Thanks very much now. Bye.